Hey YouTube, and it's Trep again. I'm bringing you the Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke Challenge. Um, here is Route 2. You only uh, missed the first video, or if you've already watched the first video, uh, welcome back. And now I'm on to Route 2. Let's go catch my first Pokemon. You haven't missed much. All that happened was I went in and talked to an old man, and he tried catching a Rattata. It didn't work, so he ran away. Um, and then I followed him to the Mart. I got a couple Pokeballs. I got a couple potions and uh, an antidote, I think. Because all those things are vital in the Nuzlocke Challenge. If you run into the situation where your Pokemon's poisoned and you're walking and he faints, he's dead. I mean, that's that. So, I mean, things like that, they matter. Um, so let's continue on our way. And I think there are some, there's some grass up here. So let's get into it and catch our first, first Pokemon. Um, see what our second... Pokemon in the party is going to be right behind Pikachu. A.K.A. Spark. It's going to be a Nidorean. Well, it's going to be a Nidoran, the female version. That's awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better uh, Pokemon here. Oh, wow. That doesn't do a whole lot, does it? He gets a crit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, I'm going to go for one more. Especially since this is attack drop. After the growl. Oof. Alright, so he's he's definitely in catching range. Let's use that Pokeball. Gimme this. Alright. Oh what? Give me a break, kid. What are you doing? He's on that sliver of health and he's just putting up a fight. There he is. She is, excuse me. Okay, now I need to think of a creative name for this. Lady, how about hmm? I'll pause the video when think of something. So after some thought and um careful deliberation, I was thinking of Rock Hard Body uh, because in the later games, uh, well, she'll become a Nidoqueen, Queen, and that's Poison Ground, I believe. Um, I don't, I've never used her in a party in a any competitive gameplay. Um, so, hold on one second. Sorry for that, I'm actually, uh, in the middle of multitasking, I left you on a cliffhanger. So anyways, uh, this Pokemon, it's gonna, its name's going to be Toxic. Like, oh, she's so toxic, like, your kiss is toxic, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, this is our second Pokemon, I, this is... Why is the X so much smaller than the rare? I don't know. Anyways, so that's our second Pokemon in the group. Oh, and here's another Pokemon to battle. Take this guy out real quick. Look, I could have gotten a Rattata. Like, that had been boring. Um, but yeah, sorry, I was multitasking. I was uh, doing some rendering while I played this. I was letting that run in the background. <clears throat> So yeah, let's get a little XP going, Spark. And uh, Nidor Nidoran is going to be an important part to my team because that will make this next gym a whole lot easier. This is a pretty pretty easy force to na navigate. Oh, and this is my next Pokemon in the group. It's a Caterpie. I think I can just catch him straight off. Level 3, I mean, that's pretty weak. I only got two Pokeballs left. Can I catch it? That stupid Nidoran on that sliver of health was giving me troubles. Look at that. Alright, well... No, now I have two left. If this, does, if this one doesn't work, I'll go ahead and hit him once. Yeah, I'll go ahead and hit him once in an effort to... Uh, Go ahead and weaken him, because I don't, I don't necessarily want to lose the next Pokemon in my group, despite the fact of just being a Caterpie. I get a crit, you know. That's that's the luck of the draw, right? Wasted all those Pokeballs too. I don't have that much money. Shoot. Well, I see a little item up there. I'm gonna go ahead and go grab that. 
Actually, I'm probably going to have to heal here in a second. Um, look, why couldn't it have been a level 5 Caterpie? This thing would have been so much easier to catch. Just because I wouldn't have to worry. Well, I guess if a crit happened, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have... Oh, look, another crit. See? He would have survived a crit. Um, and then I would have caught it. But I'm actually going to go heal up <clears throat> right now. Because I don't feel safe. Okay, got out of the grass. That was important. <laughs> oh, more grass. Ooh, okay. Well, let's see what it is. Level 3. Um, well, I think I can still take it out. If he gets a crit here and takes out Spark, I'm done. Look, another crit. That's three crits. Three crits out of four attacks. Like, come on. Like, I understand that that's, like, normally a good thing, but... Well, in that case, it was a good thing, but... I'm not really looking for critical hits at the moment. Well, at least when I'm trying to catch a Pokemon. So yeah, um, this is this is kind of fun actually. Uh, here, I'll actually pause the video while I heal. Sorry about that, guys. Well, I healed up. Um, that's all you missed. Okay, so this guy doesn't want to battle me. I think this guy battles though. Um, so now I'm back in the forest. Uh, and you know what I was thinking of when I was um, healing up? I was just thinking, uh, when you nurse Joy, is is that all the Poké Centers? That's weird for one. All right, so what's she doing? She's got like she's working like thirty jobs at thirty different spots, and she's always there. She's omnipresent. But anyways, nurse Joy at the end of healing her of your Pokemon, she goes ahead. She says, "Thank you for sh coming up, and we hope to see you again. We hope to see you again." So she's hoping that your Pokemon actually get hurt. I don't know. And that they need healing? I, I don't know. That was something that I always thought was weird. Um, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to bring in Toxic. You know, I actually kind of like um, using uh, Caterpie in this game. Because you get Butterfree. And Butterfree learns, like, Psychic and sleep powder like i think that combination psychic and sleep powder this is ridiculous you are not doing like anything switching back out um so it's it's a pokemon that can learn a lot of moves and later like um in the current generations it actually can learn like quiver dance which is ridiculous on that thing but then you gotta worry about like stealth rocks and stuff. I don't know. There's a whole lot of uh, stuff they've worked into the game since this first generation. It's it's actually kind of confusing. Hold on, once. Well, anyways, sorry about that. Uh, it can be kind of confusing um, with the new things that they've implemented into the game. Uh, I'm used to playing the newer generations now, even though I hadn't played anything like that in a like forever. I was really late into that scene. And I'd only really played up until the second generation, and I thought everything beyond that was a little ridiculous, especially the different types of Pokemon that you had to deal with. Right, so the, the newer generations um, of Pokemon are... Uh, there's a, so much more co incorporated into the gameplay, and I got into it sort of late. Um, so I should know this stuff better, you'd think, but I really don't. Uh, here's another Caterpie. Adjust the screen, it's a little bit off. I apologize for all that hubbub, guys. Anyways. Right, so, um, and now I'm bringing you the yellow version, which I I think I played it at one point. I can't remember. I was the red, I was always into red, along with the rest of everybody. Everyone played red, no one played blue. Are you kidding me? Um, and, and, uh, I don't. That, and then I played Crystal and Gold. I don't think anyone played Silver either. I mean, the games are, like, only slightly different anyways. Um, you encounter different Pokemon, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to have to heal up here in a second, actually. My speed fell. Look at that. He did four damage. That's enough to crit me on this turn, so I'm going to play it safe. Okay, if he crits me there... Watch, I bet you... Okay. But um, if he'd crit me, then that would have been the end of Spark, which would have been really bad. Anyways, um, Metapod. You know, I'm going to switch in, switch out, 
just to get uh, the XP for Toxic. And the taste of your lips, I want to rest. You're toxic, my second over. You know that. You know that song by Britney. Wait, did he just tackle me? What? A Metapod that doesn't use Harden? Like, I understand that it can it can no-tackle, but... I thought the only thing it ever did was Harden. <clears throat> that penis joke. Um, and actually, I'm gonna... Here, it's at ten, ten and a half minutes, but... Oh. No, I'll just continue. But there's a there's some controversy I guess with Metapod and Venomoth. Um, Metapod Venomoth, you know the Caterpie, Caterpie Venonat, Venomoth and Butterfree Metapod. All those Pokemon. I guess uh, they screwed up um, the way it was set up. Uh, the evolution chart was wrong, um, and there's some evidence behind that. Uh, I guess it's just a theory, but it's a pretty convincing theory. I mean, it, it makes sense if you look at it. <clears> Up <throat> and paralyze. That's what you get for being a penis. That the penis joke with Metapod hardens. Can be hard penis. Paralyze. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, that's inappropriate. I'm sorry. And I run into another Pokemon. Come on, let's keep it moving. Um, so I'm gonna keep these gameplays to 14 minutes. So you guys aren't sitting there forever watching me play. Um, if you don't watch me play that much, uh, you can wait until the next video comes out, nerd. Um, or just go watch some of my uh, Showdown gameplay. If you're that desperate to hear my beautiful voice. Just kidding, I'm not like self-centered like that. Egotistical. Um, let's see what this guy has. He's only got one Pokemon. He's got a Caterpie, level 10. Okay. Um, let's Thundershock this thing to death. I mean, honestly, that does a good chunk of damage. And he's paralyzed, so yeah. This shouldn't be too difficult of a Pokemon to deal with. This is the first double digit level that I've seen, so. He's only got one of them, and he's always doing. <laughs> he's content with string shotting me um, while he's paralyzed, so whatever. How does that not gain a level? 112 XP? That's good XP. Pikachu, come on. Get on your game. Start leveling up. It's going to be important here. So, moving on. Right, let's try and get into the next town. We're coming up on 13 minutes here. Is this, a, is this considered a different route? That's probably the same route. Is this, is this a different route? New route. I'm going to say that's a same route just because I'm kind of content with the party that I have so I'm not entirely concerned Here, I'm gonna heal up real quick hey guys I'm back um and all I did was heal up and buy one more pokeball I'm pretty broke so I thought that I actually got a little bit of money from battling those trainers but apparently I only got like 150 bucks whatever so anyways I'm moving on and I'm gonna t just start training really and I'll let you watch like a minute of that you don't have to watch all that it's probably gonna be like an hour's worth of training because I need to get ready for this next gym it's a pretty tough gym I need to level these guys up um, but anyways so I'm gonna start signing out here if you guys like the video go ahead and leave a like if you want to follow this challenge uh, sub up and you can follow me uh, as I go through the Nuzlocke challenge here um, and go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see. I'm always up and open to suggestions. And uh, I think this video came out after. I think I'm posting this after um, my the direction of my channel. So you'll have an idea of where I want to go with it. But if you have any ideas, if you have suggestions, just let me know. Um, and I'm always open to it. So yeah, I'll check you guys later. Bye.